Okay, don't be alarmed. Yes, I'm back. Oh, is that that is makeup? Okay. Um, and girls next door. This is how I keep my hair so fabulous. I use a satin bonnet that has satin on the inside, satin on the outside, and a satin or silk scarf. That's how I hold it in place. That's how I keep it on my ears. If you're wondering what they are, I don't even think you can see them. Are uh, Juicy Couture little studs. I bought it from the Juicy Couture store in Sawgrass. Um, a while ago, so I wear them to keep my little daughter from wearing them because she'll lose them. And no, they're not that type of earring. Now, the last item that I got that I did not get to share you guys, um, where's the bag? Oh, right here. So I'm trying to get all this away so I can put all this stuff up because, like, you guys know, you make up hoarders, know who you are. Um, you guys will keep stuff and won't put it up and whatever else. Okay, for you makeup artists, another thing you should keep in your kit, for you people that have allergies and they're saying that their nose is blocked up or the makeup is bothering them, put one of these on their nose because it has 3M, like the tape that never comes off of anything, it contains 3M and you just give it to them one, put it across their nose so they can hold their nose to this so they can breathe as you're doing their makeup and take it off, it'll help their circulation. Um, I thought I'd share with you guys because some people become allergic to makeup during the summertime and it blocks up their sinus congestion. They cannot breathe. You put it across the bridge of their nose while you're completing the application of the makeup. Take it off and finish doing the contouring. That'll help them out. Um, another thing I picked up, you guys saw me do the blending brush and the eyeshadow brush. I picked up another Studio 35 Beauty Professional Dual Ended Foundation and Concealer Brush Professional Grade. It comes with its own little personal sleeve in there. Um, it's made of all synthetic fibers pro tips apply liquid or cream foundation on the tip of your foundation brush it tells you what to do um, but to save time in the morning there you go very pretty brush um, very soft and the, this is the part for the concealer you guys know that but it's a very nice brush very ergonomic for you I also picked up two Maybelline color sensations. I don't know who channel I watch these on, but you guys know I, like I said, if I'm not wearing the makeup. Oh, and I hit pan on some stuff, guys. That'll be my next video, Um, what I hit pan on. Of course, I hit pan on the Fergie Matte um, Mattifying um, Powder. Oh my God, it works wonders. It deflects the light and it stays matte. It really does stay matte. But I hit pan on that. I hit pan on, I hit pan a lot on other stuff. And then I had some other stuff on the hated list but all that'll be in one video together so yeah okay let's start with what I found it's actually really cute because it looks like lipstick if you look at it it's just they poured it in there making it look like it's lipstick you guys already know what this is it's the Maybelline New York color sensational um, elixir this is in hibiscus I'll show you guys what hibiscus looks like This would be so pretty with my blonde hair. I'm give you guys a good game of what hibiscus looks like. And that's what it looks like on my skin color. So my darker skin sisters and my tanner sisters, you can definitely wear hibiscus and it actually is a color. Not like those horrid, horrid Lani lip glosses. Don't do it to yourself. But it's a very pretty color on me. Okay, so give me one second, guys. What did I just do? I don't even know. Okay, so I have that color, which I'm liking hibiscus. So that's hibiscus. I'm looking for my, uh, forgive me guys. And I also picked up Vision and Violet. This is a Vision and Violet. Let's see if I can show you guys. Vision and Violet. 
on my bottom lip. That's vision and violet. Pretty. For $8.99, they are gorgeous. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous colors. I can't say so much. I can't. I can't even begin to tell you how pretty they are because they are. So whatever la young lady that did the review on these and I watched her video, I, I might have commented on the video. These are freaking gorgeous. Like I have a ton of makeup. Yes, I even keep my handy dandy bunny glue just in case. You know, if I have tracks so or my daughter has an extension, doop, doop, I roll with everything. Even if I'm going out to a friend's house. Ah, oh, here's what I was looking for. Give me a second. I know you guys use it for your face. I use it for my lip and my face. So we're going to write that off. Because they're 99 cents. And I have like a drawer full of them. You know, I think our family really needed this. It's really going to bring us closer together. Yep, yep, yep. And they're very soft. Look at that. Introducing our best ever family price. We're going to put on this color here. I'm already not liking you throwing shade. Let's see. Mm, the smell. What? Mm -mm. Everybody loves to wash okay, I feel it drying. So you know what this is? This is a remix of those nasty, awful lac dry in place lacquers that they sold us and they caked up on your lip. And they was telling us that you have to put it in the center of your lip and dot it. And don't move it around and sit there with your mouth like this for it to dry. This is a remix of that. Because they had this same smell. They just redid the packaging and they made the formula better. That's exactly what this is, ladies. And they added a little more gloss because I feel it drying. It's more of a stain, but it has nothing on that Maybelline color that's going in my bag. Vision and Violet. Hmm. No, this going to go in my bag too because I'm buying some more stuff because I'm getting ready to change out the colors in my makeup bag. And, um, you know, he told me that this was a purse. Now, you guys know, I don't, I don't, you know, when I buy purses, I buy quality stuff, whether it's from the low end or the high end. I buy the quality stuff so it lasts. Because, you know, I let my girls, we, we all use my purses in the house. You know, so you guys know, we use, we all use my purses. All except for my candy bags and my Louis Vuitton and, um, a couple other ones, like, no, they're not allowed to use those because they won't take care of them. They put them down, somebody's going to run off with them or attack them for them. Yeah, people still beat people up and take their purses. <laughs> I know, right? It happens. Side note. I know this is a purse, okay? I know. I, I, I know that. I know that this is a purse. A little soft Betsy Johnson clutch. But I feel like because of the material, it's more of a makeup bag or a small carry-on little makeup bag. And let's be truthful, I need it for a makeup bag. Um, and I like this, and I like to the hearts and all the stuff on it, and I'm a Betsy Johnson's fan. Um, so far, I only have one of her purses because some of them are not um, it's enticing. Um, I don't know, maybe it's just me. But... I know it's what it is. <laughs> it's what I'm getting to. So I'm going to take all my stuff out of makeup bag tonight and swap it out and put all the good new stuff in there because I'm loving it. And we're going to call it a day. We're going to call it a draw. So this is your girl, lovely Pamela. Talk to you guys later. Girl next door. Marcus Farrell. All of those names. So look out for more hauls, more good stuff. Talk to you guys later.